So we've reached the end of the road. Nowhere is safe, sorry. There will be no rest for the four of us. The condemnation, protests, and public opinion gets Mika are the result of a long built up frustration towards our actions. Mika's going to be expelled. I don't deserve your help or forgiveness. Ah. Any significant flies eavesdropping? Oh, they know she's there. Look at you go! Do you have an answer, Ace? Do a flip! Please. Help Atsuko. I beg of you. Ninety-five minutes left until what? We have to go through the underground catacombs to get to the area's district. There, so, there have been so far about three hundred entrances discovered in catacombs, but only some of them are real entrances. You'll be lost in the catacombs until you starve if you choose the wrong entrance. So, we haven't received any deciphering code for an internal route that leads to the real entrance to the catacombs in the area's district. The size of the catacombs shift periodically. The tunnels themselves move? What, are they alive? More or less. Paths previously open will be suddenly blocked. It's easy to lose your sense of direction. I don't understand the mecha me uh, me mechanics behind the structure, but essentially an ever changing maze. But we figured out a way one valid entrance. That's our ticket in. It'll change at midnight tonight, hence the 90 minutes. We'll close as we have no way to return to Arius. Even if we were found a way, it wouldn't be in time to save Hime. We gotta hurry. Ooh, that just got louder. <laughs> Squad! I knew they're here. Get ready to battle. Fight, 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 fight. So did Sayori run away or something? Like what's uh, what's going on here? Oh no, she's right there. Okay. What in the world is this pattern? Girl, 4th of July was a couple weeks ago. We get into catacombs through here. Based on how the troops were able to find us, she already knows we're using this passage. Be on guard, she'll stop at nothing. I know it was our only option, but we're proceeding to predict Proceed to be too predictable. It's no surprise she found us so quickly. Are we sure this is a good idea then? It's our only idea. We're charging through. I mean, there was no other option. And I think I know the other. And I think the unknown variable Ace brings the formula and make them tread carefully. <laughs> I'm excited to work with them. Aw, me too. How did you miss that? G you G wait what Mika What Wait what how did she get here so fast this is unexpected Really I was totally expecting it surprise Misa no Mika that's my name. I guess you remember me, huh? What do you think of my entrance? I was going for a cool, vengeful villainess. I mean, you miss me, old friend. Why the long face? You look... You look like you're looking at a witch or something. You did appear out of nowhere. I apparently have to apparently break out of prison. <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. I just wanted to see my gals. I mean, we do have a teensy bit of unfinished, but this is the handle. Don't no, we, Sayori? Where's Ace? Ace was found close behind. No more than a few minutes. Hmm. Are you wondering how I knew you were here? I was paying attention, you know. Watching your mythologies again and again. Did you dismiss me that easily? How long until the patch is closed? About 28 minutes. If we fight now, we both lose and we don't reach the entrance in time. I'm gonna lose? We've been on the run for days. Everyone's exhausted. Technical advantages are what's getting us through right now, not brute force. Ace's command has gotten us through this point. Misano Miki is the main muscle behind the tea party. A fight of raw strength is exactly what she wants. Uh, you sure thought I was stupid, huh? I figured you out in a snap. Is she just talking to herself? <laughs> Nobody's just talking to each other. <laughs> I can only imagine me just kind of running up behind him like in a few seconds later like, huh, all explosions are going off in the distance. Yeah, I know, right? Misaki. Oh, so now you guys are all buddy buddy. Oh, heartless, Aries idiots only care about their stupid missions. I'm not a fan of you having friends at all. Relationships are important. You know what? I used to have someone I cared about like that. Saya. Remember trying to kill her? <sighs> Don't get me wrong, you have no idea how many times I wanted to slap her right across her face. Leia really gets under my skin. But you know, if she gets hurt, 
You get so anxious, that's the only thing I can think about. So imagine when I heard Saya died. I went absolutely nuts so crazy. Feelings can be so silly. Even if I hated her and wanted to make her suffer, sometimes she was precious to me. I didn't want her to die. I didn't want to be a murderer. And now that matters anymore. Jeez, dude. I can only imagine her just laying that into her back. Nika, stop! Ace? <sighs> Mika, what are you doing here? I... I, um... So... Wait, I don't understand why... Ace, why are you with Squad? This wasn't supposed to happen. I didn't think Ace would be here. I didn't want you to have to witness this. Well, that didn't last long now, did it? <sighs> We're alive. Barely made it. We need a bit more distance between us. Let's go. You're right. Ace, please stay close. The path is complicated from here. And there's no signal either. So if you get lost, you'll be lost forever and never and ever. I'm hoping to avoid that outcome. Ares is this way. Mika. They escaped into the catacombs. Do we follow? We still make it. Give chase. Owie, owie, ow! No, you saw Mika? Oh, reinforcements! Misono Mika, you used to support our cause. Please leave this place immediately. I'm sorry, I think I misheard. Do you think you can force me out with this few? Wow, did you think you had the advantage because I'm alone? You really can't fix, stupid. Where does Squad go? Where are you buying time for them? <laughs> no, we've been pursuing Squad since the Eden Treaty incident. Huh? Squad betrayed Arius and attempted to run away. We've been tasked with er erasing them. No way, betrayed and ran away. Ah, this gets funnier and funnier. They betrayed their own school? How come? Ah, uh, I see. Is this your big finale, Sayori? I guess that's what happens when a hunting dog was this target, huh? I'm beginning to understand. And Ace. Hmm. Ace, you're taking a risk to help someone in crisis again. Oh, jeez. I'm beginning to understand. Stand down, Mika. This can be forgotten, forgotten if you leave now. Fort, the shell of eyes as a company squad. What? You must put us to her immediately. And you said yo five. Oh, that was the last move. Oh, oh. Yeah, they ain't coming back from that. Hmm. That was right. I'm not guarded. Not a soul in sight. <sighs> is this the Aries district? Once upon a time, it's now just an old abandoned area. The Aristo district is farther. We have to approach carefully. She's waiting for us. This was a training ground once. A training ground? It was a historical site, actually. But it was still converted to a training ground after the Civil War ended. There was a Civil War. Ten years ago, the Aries district was divided into two and war ensued. Any area student could tell you. I want to hear better. I think it was shooting training. Some kid was getting beat for beating disobeying orders. No one said anything. Just watched in fear. But she kept standing back up no matter what the teacher did. I remember crying because... Because I thought her hail was going to be destroyed. And Sayori... I mean, leader came running up. We will have the luxury of reminiscing right now. What's the plan later? Dude, what is it? Dude, I don't understand. What is with the area school? Dude? What is with Beatrice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is with her? She acts like she wants to be this intimidating figure, but I just can't see that. I feel like she just, she's trying too hard. I just don't see it. She's the least a bit intimidating to me. Like, she's doing all this stuff. Yes, it's the scummiest thing on the planet, and I will beat the crap out of her for it, but I feel like she's just... She's not intimidating at all. Are you okay? Sorry? Uh, leader? 
She has a fever. She was hovering out this whole time. This whole time? Look who she gone sick. I suppose she's been sick this whole time. She's injured as well on the run for four days straight. Her body's finally catching up. I was about to say, it could have happened at any time though. We don't know when it could have. Can we do anything to help her? <laughs> I always keep that thing on me. You're well prepared. I got from a magical place called the convenience store. Nah, forget that. It's my inventory. I also know those bandages on Misaki's arm. I mean, after what happened recently, I can only assume that. Yeah, I think I know what those bandages on her arms are for. And on her neck, too, if I saw it correctly. Ace, can you finally hear me? Yes, I can finally hear you. Turn off the lights. The end. You will end will come with the conclusion of the ceremony. I don't know exactly what she's doing, but it's clear the unreal result would be her demise. She seemed to be trying to summon some kind of being into Givotos. I'm not sure. But I was overpowered by Beatrice in a lucid dream and encountered some sort of being from beyond my own consciousness. I feel like, is that supposed to be a halo? I feel like it's very specific. I was so frightened having confirmed that my visions were in the Ikimosa's future, I lashed out at her, blamed her, and then she had to watch me as my body began to fail. Every rod I take, I always hurt her. Miku will blame herself and do something she'll regret. I know her. If Beatrice is successful, she will bring out the downfall of Kivodos. And also go with the area squad would be sacrificed for the ritual. Trapped in this in between, there is nothing I can do. All I can do is hope you hear my pleas. And Ace, please be careful. Beatrice wants you dead. I'm going to get out of here somehow. Alert Nagisa and the others and get Mika back. It'll be my turn to apologize. So Ace. Ace, if you can hear my voice, please. Run. You have to get as far away as you can from the area's district. Sorry, but folding isn't an option. Ace? Sorry to wake you. Did you have a bad dream? We're used to it, but it's not easy to sleep in an environment like this. Something like a dream. What's the situation? I've been keeping a close eye on Lita's condition. Her fear has gone down, but she's still resting. We got down all much longer. It's still quiet, but we should leave in the next 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yes, is something wrong? Can you tell me the rest of your story? You know, your backstory. That's... Why so much interest? You're Shell's enemy. It's not a pleasant story. <sighs> Fine. We have time, I guess. Anyways. My first memory is Madame declaring that Civil War was finally over. We were too young to understand. We didn't know about Civil War or even who Madame was. She declared herself as the new student council president, as well as owner and ruler of Arius. She wasted no time imparting her teachings on the Arius Academy. All is in vain. Life is ultimately empty. Her philosophies, combat skills, anger, and hatred. She taught us all of it to mold us into a perfect army. <laughs> she was also taught us the source of her suffering was Trinity. They get ahead of whatever disdain to coexist with us. Madam drilled the hate into us. She just wanted us to kill, turning us into murderers. And she made us believe murderers like us would never be accepted at another school. She was our master. She told us how she was, she was a grown up who taught the truth of the world, that I must follow and respect her. She was an adult. We didn't know anything about it to accept her teachings. Ace, why do you look so scary? Did we do something wrong? No, you didn't do anything wrong. Why do we call her Hime? Well, um, because she's Hime, I guess? Hime has always been Hime to us. A direct descendant of the previous area student council president. So, kind of like a princess. 
The presidency was once passed down through families, so she would have been a student council president of the area satellite school. On the other hand, later, Kiori and I were pretty petty thieves living in the slums since childhood, although it was always leader dragging us around. I can remember he made his pretty dresses. She looked so graceful compared to us. <laughs> when the Civil War ended, I learned that Madame planned to sell and sacrifice him. I didn't really understand, but well, I knew how the Black Lake support was handed to us. It seemed natural with the press we buy the most would we give us such a honor. But leader, leader didn't accept it. She stole him away and brought her back to us. I didn't even know something like that could be done. I think Leader must have made a deal with her. Mad would never have had an email over. Still have nightmares about it. It was almost scary as the adults. Then we have then we were named Squad and utilized to carry out main missions for areas. We couldn't compete for this fin this final mission. And he was come taken. <laughs> we became traitors, joined forces with Ace, who was our target in the first place, and then returned to Arius. The Luger situation. I enjoyed your story. Leader? You're up. You keep going. I can. I'm sorry to give you all. I'm so relieved. I might cry. I don't know what to do. Well, at least your fear has gone down. Remember, you're not fully recovered, so don't get frustrated. You're not 100%. So, what's the plan? Go say Fime? No matter what. Our goal remains the same. Rhodes Area's best silica rescue Hime. We'll slip into the Celica and notice if all goes well. Have you been there? Are you sure? I've only heard of it from Hime. We'll have to find it out somehow. I was, I don't know, like so many uncertainties in a plan. But you know what they say. Trust the process. Does it feel a little too quiet to anyone else? I've never seen it so abandoned. There's a number of unfamiliar things about this street. We filled off since we arrived. It may have been gone for a long time, but everything feels different. I mean, it's kind of like sneaking out in the middle of the night or just getting up in the middle of the night, trying to get a midnight snack where you know you're not supposed to. And it always feels quieter than you usually should. I've been speaking from experience a lot lately. I don't know how I should feel about this. Enemy approaching. Hide. They're still walking around. Isn't that the council? Is it the St. Justine Council? Why are they so scary looking? How can they be here? It's canceled our contract. If you think about it, the objective during the Eden Treaty plot was to secure the Misimi's ability. He made it as the wooden doll in the cathedral basement told her to, just as soon as destructed. With the council troops secured, our mission was to occupy the Trinity and get out of districts. But we lost shale. Right, we failed to both secure the Misimi's ability and occupying the academies. But Shioria secured the Misimi's ability? Whatever could it mean, little one? So I think we've been surrounded. She knew this is our only way in. A plus for you, little Misaki. Madam. Ah, this is my territory. You can't take too much as a breath here without me knowing. Your childish plans were obvious from the start. Did you really think you could outsmart me, children? She was. She runs like a like a magazine. Indeed, we've been playing into her game. Ah, uh, yes, Sayori, you were correct. From the beginning, your true mission was to bring royal blood to the old cathedral and manifest the council. All I needed was for you to open a path to Miss Timmy's ability. Of course, Marshall doesn't like me trading on his supposed area of expertise much. Turning to get hand over a little flies and land on my chessboard. I'll use them as an excuse to fill the deep seated hate within your district. May you little fool so very, very easy to control. In that sense, I suppose you actually did fulfill your mission. I could have gone to Missy Missabilities without you. Not only that, you hand roll the royal blood so nicely. What a being a little child you are, Sayori. I was only beating to keep Hime safe. You lied to us. Yes, yes. So tragic, so sad. Anyways, I have more important matters to attend to. And we finally meet Ace. 
so you know who I am. Shale's educator, the beloved advisor. Your reputation truly precedes you. I've attempted this meeting for some time now. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Beatrice, a member of the Gematria. We may call me Madam. I think I'll call you Redneck. Insolence. Yes, I was the only one in Gematria who successfully established the estate. And look how my, and my flourishes. Aren't you curious how I've brought the entire student body under my control? I'll tell you my secrets for a free return, of course. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Hate, contempt, anger, and disgust. Such intense, all encompassing like, emotions. They're laughably easy to manipulate. I do love that look of it. All I had to do was ignite the flame and watch my carefully laid out plans burn the world down. At least they would, they would have before you intervened. But those silly little brats you're trying so hard to save were already waging a civil war before I came along. Did you know that, Ace? All that deep seated rage. That boy in hatred against the world, I simply utilized it. I would hardly consider them poor into the little students. Of course, all those students you have perfectly protected are protected the same. Human nature is violent and selfish at its core. You see, I distort the very fabric of the reality. Their emotions are no longer their own. Their relations with each other fall into the wayside as we become the only lifeboat in the middle of a treacherous sea. Paradise is only paradise if it's exclusive. And in mine, adults dominate exploit and devour these unfortunate souls the more hellish for them the more comfortable this paradise becomes for me now my dearest ace why don't you run along and let my prey let me prey upon my loyal subjects in peace after you said all that there is no way in the world i'm leaving them now not like i was to begin with i spent so much effort on her you wouldn't want me to waste it would you and i promise you'll benefit from her sacrifice too Aren't you the least bit curious? What the sacrifice of one day significant student can achieve? I'll make a world built just for you. Would you like the son of the- Hell no. Take my hand, Ace. It's the last time you'll see it extend. That's enough out of you. Oh? I'm not interested in your delusional ideals. And I don't need a truth that I man's innocent blood. Ah, they were right. You are resolute in your own ways. If our truths can align, I can only see you as my adversary. So, is this even true to your paradise? A bumbling, idealistic world where love and friendship overcomes all. You really know better than those naive children. I mean, I am one, so... <laughs> what you gonna do, baby? Paradise is the origin of first sin. Real paradise is hate, anger, and remorse. It's the evil that lies within all of us. Beatrice. Redneck. You've insulted the way of living long enough, and your methods are insulted everything people stand for, what I stand for. You and as an adult should be protecting students. So that's the path you chose, Ace. So be it. I've been waiting for you in this basilica. Why don't we take a bet on whether you can make it to me? Ace, you truly are an incompressible presence. My natural enemy. Go, my little friends, go! I don't know why, I just still find it hilarious how she's trying to be all intimidating to me, but I, I don't find her intimidating in the least slightest. She's just annoying. <laughs> she's just like that annoying neighbor you just can't get rid of. She... Dude, she reminds me of Undyne. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> Bro, she, if I'm Monk, she's my truffles. <laughs> Oh, God bless. You really just don't give up, do you? Mika needs to learn her lesson. So let's cool it down a bit. Good. I was getting angry. Oh, are you really going to punish me? Is this what correcting means to the most of the Black Life community? Because of them, they are. You guys are a wild bunch. You, Y'all need to get some correction in you. Really? <laughs> Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he already has some pent up aggression in that one. Well, I'll be damned. Never mind. Mika, Sarah's gonna be fine. She's doing her best. You need to go back, though. I really don't want you getting hurt. Nice. 
I did it again, didn't I? Keep betraying you. It's the worst student. Take advantage of your trust. But I... I can't. I have nowhere to go, Ace. Not Trinity. Not anywhere. I'm the Witch of Trinity now. I heard say it over and over again. I don't want to get kicked out. I want to go play with Nagi. Ace. All the people I treasure will be on my reach. If I'm expelled, I won't be Ace of Stone anymore. You won't care about me. I know there's no happy future in my fate. Because I'm the villain of everyone's story. I'm a murderer. The only thing I've left to live is my revenge. Oh, Mika. Don't cry like that. You stole everything from me. Lost everything I held dear. It's all your fault. How do you guys, how do you guys get to see your friends every day? Enjoy your lives. Meanwhile, I, I've become a speck of dust. There's nothing left to live for. So tell me. What am I supposed to do? I can't let Sawyer get away with what she did. I can't stand that Ace is helping this shameless lying backstabber. Ace, I'm sorry. You can't stop me. Mika, come back. Where did she go? What is she thinking? She's a loose cannon. Mika really hates me to my core. I can't blame her for thinking I'm shameless. I'm doing what I must. What should we do? Mika isn't going to give up. All is are stacked in our favor. Areas in the council are incredibly strong. Eventual team are members. Doesn't matter what the odds are. We have to Basilica through the former institute just as we planned. There's no time left. And we have to be through. We have to throw caution to the wind. Oh jeez, life really is suffering. We'll be left behind, Ace. Mika. Whew, this way. I think this is it. Great job, Yori. A moment, please. If the passage is connected to the Basilica in a straight line, the terrain will be dangerous. I've thought about the possibilities of an ambush. Guess there is a straight line. No, I'm talking about me son of Mika. I've been trying to think what I would do in her shoes. Right now, Ace is her only obstacle. She doesn't want to hurt him, but Ace's presence was realizing her revenge is out of reach. And that means... She's gonna separate us. That's not good. Ace, hey, oh no, turn around, the pillar's collapsing! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Thank goodness. All these rooms are all but a class out of nowhere. And that isn't a coincidence. This is bad. There's no way around it. Everything is ruined. Are you okay? Leader, can you hear me? We're going to find a way to point in the middle. We're going to find a point in the middle to meet. I think I'll have to take a rain check on that. I did it. I really had to control the power so Ace wouldn't get sucked in. Oh, that's a shot. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Put that on the album, bro. <laughs> Holy cow. Bro, she's got some good poses. <laughs> sorry, Ace. I have to. You get the situation right, sorry. We're bit of a tight schedule, so let's hurry this up. What are our left till sunrise? 
I'd be more focused on the present if I were you. You gotta be safe if Ace gets over here. Who knows how long it'll take for him to get through the rubble. I'm not completely evil though. You go out until then, you win. As if that would happen. I don't like that expression. But you seem happy. If I just lost it. I was just reminiscing. Don't come to help you? I'll be okay. Go to Atsuko. There's no time left, so please save Hime. Leader? Sayori. She's right. Let's go. We don't even know the way to the chapel. Even if we leave now, we'll be already too late. But Leader is injured. She won't last long enough to save us. She wants to save her. So we shouldn't leave. We have to make a choice. Save Hime or save our leader. I'm leaving the final call to you. Mika means business, but Hime's life is hanging by a thread. What are you going to do? I... Do what needs to be done. I guess Ace shows us to go in the end. Aren't you happy? Isn't that what you wanted? Was this what you wanted, Mika? What I wanted? What do I want again? I would have separated squad from Ace, but... I wasn't particularly aiming for you to clarify. I wouldn't have really cared who it was. Actually, it would have been nice if it was Ace with me. That would be asking for too much, huh? No, give me that look. I <laughs> know I could be a dummy. <laughs> the look she kind of gave was like, uh huh. What did Say always say? Oh, yeah, that impulsive and careless. What a meanie. Okay, fine. Maybe I lied a bit. I wanted to be you. Not with all my hate and my mercy. Ace only rescues their students. Ace will go to the ends of the world for people he cares about. That happy ending. But villains? Those who betray a lie to her people who don't get anything. Don't get anything good. So sorry. Here we are at the end. Do you want to say anything? This is the climax. The scene where the witch executes the hound. Which I guess you're probably not happy about. But you really don't want to say anything. You can beg if you want. Scream and cry about how unfair this is. About how you don't understand why I'm doing this. But I do understand. What was that? A grenade? Oh, a smoke bomb. Hmm? Oh, okay, that hurts. This weapon has been banned from production. I found it out there is training grounds. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't actually care. It doesn't matter what weapons you have. Man, I want to kill to see the stuff animated. Ah, uh, Mika, my muse. Does she know her role? How she helped? How she helped afford my hell? And I hers. They do the courses through our bodies. It confirms our very existence. It's much easier to comprehend that some paradise we don't know exists. Wouldn't you agree, Saya? How charming. You still haven't given up. The little cracks in your dreams you're trying to escape through are hard to find, aren't they? You're trapped in my web with no way out. Are you scared, Saya? Before the power outside power outside you feel as you can't tear your eyes your eyes away, away from God. Speak, bro! An ominous light that can be interpreted, understood, or communicated with no comprehensible idea that, in human eyes, has no purpose. Gematria's greatest threat. We call it color. At last, we are approaching the climax. Do you feel it too? Ah, uh, that. Yes, my trunk are carefully developed just for shale. For your ace. Uh, that. Yeah, that's a definitely. Barbara. Barbara. I can't well wait to see Marshall's reaction. I do hope it vexes him. Will Shell and Squad overcome my weapon and interpret the ritual? Or will they fa fail their mission when they've been barely begun? I can't wait to see it unfold. This fickle destiny. And you, Saya. We'll bear it in silence 
and you you believe that hell exists. <sighs> Beatrice is wrong. I will not give up. I will try and try. We must escape. Find the cracks to slip out. You cannot be trapped as nightmare forever. I cannot. Will not be defeated here. I still must 